Hello, my name is Cassie McClelland, and I've been lucky enough to land these few minutes of time for a graduation speech. Thank you to all the people who worked hard to put this event together. I know that conditions weren't exactly what we all had in mind this year, and we've had to make a lot of compromises, but your care and effort is greatly appreciated. Um, as well as getting this speaking opportunity, I'm also very lucky to have had you 2021 grads as my classmates throughout our high school years. I hope you all know how great it was to learn with you as well as from you. High school is a weird time and we all go through our own hero's journey cycles. Sometimes we have those more productive days where we get lots of tasks done, going through that cycle multiple times. And there are other instances where we struggle to get one task done and it feels like we're in this endless... Uh oh, okay. And on other occasions, it feels like we're stuck in a long battle just to get one thing done. Uh, we just want to get out of the abyss and back onto the path back home. Sometimes the journey takes up to a few weeks, even months sometimes. But our challenges don't just come from schoolwork. They come from ourselves, the relationships with the people around us, and honestly anything this wild ride called life throws at us. So I'm very happy that we're all here today to celebrate our hard work. This year, as well as junior year, was much more rocky than we could have ever imagined. So much was thrown at us that we just had to adjust to. Working remotely was difficult, and honestly, I'm still trying to find good coping skills to help me stay on task. Uh, we all have different learning styles and things that we need to feel like we have to get our work done. Uh, some people I saw were really good at online schooling. They would come to class on time, looking well rested, and they would turn their work in without looking like they needed any extra help. I'm so jealous of that because you guys have a great work ethic and I, I envy your time management. Uh, because parallel to that, there are those of us who have a hard time being at home trying to get work done. It's difficult to tell yourself that it's time to get to work when you're in an environment that you've never had to be a student in before. Most of us for the past 11 years have gone to a completely different building for school and then come home. We had that very clear separation during that time. As someone with ADHD who's even more susceptible to distractions, this year was an even bigger struggle to stay on task. It's so, it's so embarrassing, but I had 27 missing assignments at one point. Uh, <laughs> thank you to all the teachers who were flexible and kind to me with deadlines. Ms. Katzer, Ms. Broderick, and Ms. Boisvert were especially nice when it came to working with me about due dates. But I know I wasn't alone in this. Many of us had similar problems, and thanks to Capitals teachers, we're here graduating. Also, thank you to the teachers who taught us not only their subject, but they also gave us great life skills and advice that we'll take with us. Ms. Sampson, Ms. Brab Ms. Grabski, Mr. LeDuc, Mr. Hamilton, and Mr. Deacons all come to mind when I say that thank you. Because not only did I grow academically in those classes, they also left me with this similar message of go for something. Even if you're scared and you're not even sure it's going to be worth it, just do it. Um, I'm constantly you know, trying to get better at it, but they gave me this mindset of never seeing anything as a waste of time. Just use it as a learning experience and a building block to get a better start next time. So, despite the uncertainty of it all, we made it. I'm so excited to see what everyone does next, whether you're going right off to uni, whether you're going right into the workforce, taking a break here, maybe you're going to the military. I'm excited for you, and I'm gonna do my best to keep up with as many of you as possible, because I can't wait to see what great achievements you have next. So thank the people around you, your teachers, your parents, all the staff that's helped you out. Tell them how they impacted you and give yourself a pat on the back because with everything thrown at us, we pushed through and we made it. I'm so incredibly proud of us.